Indian COVID crisis coverage by media. Since the pandemic began in November 2019, a lot of countries have had to suffer invaluable human casualties and catastrophic financial losses. No nation, poor, developing or developed has been left untouched by this disaster. But what is interesting here is the coverage and perception being propagated by foreign media and selected domestic media with vested interests. To begin with, let's take a look at a simple Google image search for COVID crisis in various countries. If you search COVID crisis in India on Google image search, you will be pounded with apocalyptic gloomy pictures of people suffering and funeral pyres burning. This is not to say that this is not happening in India right now. The point is the coverage of such a sensitive topic. Notice how a similar image search for USA, Italy, Greece and even China, where the per capita death rate is much higher, does not yield such disrespectful images. The Western media had relished on poverty porn in India for a long time. This time it was death porn, where pictures of funeral pyres, an extremely sacred and personal religious exercise, are being sold for 20 to 25,000 rupees on the internet. Take a look at this shameless picture of an Indian media personnel sitting on cremation grounds like a vulture. Interestingly this particular journalist did not broadcast us the images of her own father's cremation. Even vultures would be ashamed. Compare this to what happened in Australia some times back when a man was sentenced to prison for filming the death of four police officers. But in India, a Washington Post correspondent, Annie Gowan find these pictures of poor Indians dying and being cremated, stunning. The desperation for death porn is so much that the New York Post posted fake pictures of people dying in the streets when they could not find any original. The picture turned out to be about a year old. This was not it. Apart from the pathetic coverage, some usual suspects started their vicious campaign to spread chaos, lies and propaganda. A notorious journalist working for the Washington Post started saying that people were being arrested for asking for oxygen cylinders. On investigating, it was found that the person in question did not need oxygen cylinder after all and used the death of his grandfather, caused by a heart attack, to spread panic. Here we have an example of how propaganda was being spread on the efficacy of the Indian made co vaccine by Bharat Biotech. This, when the top American pandemic experts like Dr. Fossey have called co vaccine as a very important antidote against COVID 19. Let's take a look now at the per capita death rate in some countries and compare that to India's. You can see that even at its peak, the death rate in India is far below than that in other parts of the world. Now, some will say that the cases are being underreported. But this was being said even during the initial period of the pandemic when the Western media expressed disappointment that more people were not dying of COVID in India. One Indian on Al Jazeera even went ahead to blame Indians for their misery. Did anyone say something similar about US? UK or France? What do you think about the coverage of Indian COVID crisis by media? Do let us know in the comment section.